Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. Another day, another issue with the truck. So, guys, my radio has been tripping and it's finally time to to fix this up. Um, as you can see, there is no key in the ignition. And look at this, this radio be tripping. You see that? radio turn on without the key in the ignition also um whilst i'm driving whilst i'm driving it occasionally just turn itself off and i use um my iphone attached to the radio for navigation so i'm gonna fix it because this radio is just tweaking <laughs> it's tripping out so let's get at it for today's install, these are the tools that I'm going to be using. You're going to need heat shrink, crimp tool, a heat source or heat gun for the heat shrink, wire stripper, wire cutter, a test light, tester tape, or electrical tape i prefer using this because it's cloth the electrical tape over time will start to get messy you're gonna need this adapter for the truck i'm using this specific receiver or head unit i can link these two below in the description of where i bought them and the price you're gonna need a solder iron i have this portable one use butane gas solder wire and also solder flux so these are some of the things that i'm going to use for today's install um i don't use wire crimps because i like to solder all the wires so it stays permanently so let's get right at it So guys, it's kind of hard to record and do what I'm going to do in the next step, but I can briefly explain to you guys what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to pop out this head unit, the factory head unit in the truck, like so. Then I'm going to disconnect the main power wire and speaker wires. Next thing that I'm going to do is use this connection right here and plug it into this plug right here. This is just an adapter to connect to an aftermarket radio system or head unit. After that, I'm going to use a three volt battery and I'm going to test all of these speaker wires to differentiate like left front right front left rear right rear after i find all of those connection i'm going to meet it to the back of this head unit connection right here so i have to find all like the positive wire which is the constant 12 or memory I have to find like the negative, I have to find the illumination and I have to find all the corresponding speaker wires that um, connect to this. After I do that, then I'm going to take off this connection from the back of this radio and the connection from the back of that radio, which is this wire. Then I'm going to meet both of them together to make um, one complete um, wire loom, basically, or one connection. So.
guys this is what it looks like um, when you find all the speaker connections that match up to each other and also the constant 12 the ignition 12 and also the, the blown one so yeah this is how it looks right here and um, right about now I'm going to solder the wires and make it pretty so yeah There you have it guys. A wire loom. So this is the remote turn on wire if you have an amplifier to the system. So 
I'm gonna leave that one out for now. So there it is. We're on the final step. Um, it's installed. I also ran the mic, so it's it's right here. That's where I put the mic. I run it behind here, through here, down, and out. So time for the final install so Boom, we got power guys. It's all good. We have power. So let me see if I can go on radio. I think it's some special brand of American pathological optimism. And there you have it guys, clean install, um, took a little thing here and there but um, it's all completed so. And that is the end of the install, um, it went 100% as I expected, it sounds really 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 good and I'm glad that I did the, the head unit swap, um, it is playing real good and i hope um the problem don't persist where it turns on and off so if you made it to the end of this video thank you for watching and until next time just keep trucking peace